Today we're setting up the ExploreNet router. Uh, we're leaving the home phone out of it here today and just focusing on the router setup. Uh, more specifically on the network name and the password. The one that comes with it, it's that XCI, so on and so forth. Uh, there's various reasons. Obviously we want to change this. Uh, nothing wrong with leaving it. but So to begin, we want to make sure that you're connected up to that network and I'm sure you've gotten this far but just in case you haven't just do a quick little recap here you can pause the video make sure you're connected up properly make sure we have an active internet connection and you are online this is the primary page of the manual that we're going to be focusing on here on the bottom of the screen here, you can see the GUI browser URL, the 192.168.219.1. The username, admin, password, admin, and it's blank. That blank component gets filled in with your serial number. Up top here, we can see the DSNZTE, the last four numbers, 0340. Now that's going to change depending on the serial number of your specific unit and you would punch in the four digits that appear on the back of your ExploreNet Hub in that blank there. I'll use mine as an example. So here's a screenshot of the back of my wireless router. So you can see I've highlighted 2908. So I'm gonna be using that in the password component. Now, while we're here, you can also notice on the very bottom right hand corner, there's a little black dot there that's been highlighted as well. That is your reset button. If at any point in time things don't work out so well for you, you get kicked out, if something happens, just grab a pin, hold that reset button down for 10 seconds, then it'll wipe it and you get to start all over again. So we're going to go back into our browser and not in a search bar, but in the very top bar, up here, this is where your URLs are going to go. I'm going to put that IP address in 192.168.219.1. There we are, we're in. In. From here, we'll just go into the WLAN settings. This gives us access to both of the networks, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz underneath it. Both are on and selected. I'm going to leave the component of the 2.4 in there. I'm going to change the password too. You can change it to whatever you want. Typically a password has to be eight characters or more. I'm going to keep mine all lowercase, all one word. Perfect. There we go. It says here on the side, 8 to 63 characters. I will select apply on both. Now I get this question often. It's about the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. The 5 gigahertz, it is faster in open spaces, but once you start putting a floor or walls in between it, the 2.4 is going to win every time. The 5 gigahertz is great for open spaces. But if you've got a lot to get through, just stick with the 
So if you find that your wireless router is down in a basement, tucked away in the mechanical room, I would just say, let's just turn it off and save the headache of people logging on to the five gigahertz and getting upset. But for my application, it's in an open space up high with room to breathe. It's fine to get this here because it actually kicked me off the internet here. It's just doing a reboot on the back end here and I'm gonna lose my Wi-Fi. I've probably connected over to an alternate network. Let's just check into that. Yep, sure enough, I did. I'm on an alternate network. We're just waiting for the wireless router to reboot. There it is, it's showing up, the 2.4. I'm just waiting on that five gigahertz now. I'll just log into it with a new password. Excellent. Let's just go right back into it. And I see that the five gigahertz hasn't taken effect. That's okay. Let's try and hit apply again. Okay, we are done here. That's it, we can log out. Uh, but I'd like to draw your attention up here to the hub user guide. There we go, you've got your hub back. I've made a small configuration change here to that wireless network. If you noticed that I had named the Wi-Fi Advocate Communications 2.4 and 5G, I've dropped the 2.4. The reason for this is because I want to show you what happens if you name it exactly the same on both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. So right now we're looking at the 2.4 spectrum. I'm going to make a change. Advocate Communications, that's fine. But here's what your devices see. They see the same network name, the same password. And they say, oh, I see this Wi-Fi. Oh, I see this Wi-Fi. Oh, I see this Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect to this one. Then, oh, I'm going to connect to this one. And it goes back and forth. It causes so many problems. And I see this all the time. So do not name them the same. Uh, this will also go for extenders boosters, repeaters, whatever you install, name them different. If it's going to be Advocate Communications as the main router and you're going to set up an extender, just call it extender so you know what you're connecting up to. The mesh routers, they're designed to work with the same network name and the same password and they hand you off appropriately. I'm sure this is going to work out well for you guys. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, come over to the website here. We have a wonderful newsletter. And we've got guides and support resources to help you guys. We do specialize with rural, but we are friends to those suffering in the urban areas as well. Thanks again.